Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Coronation Street star Lauren Bolton's life isn't expected to get any better anytime soon because she must now wait apprehensively to find out if her early born child will survive. When Lauren moved back to Weatherfield a few weeks earlier, it was revealed that she was expecting Joel Deering's child. Joel definitely had not planned on this development. Joel started dating Lauren in September of last year, just a few months after they first met. He gave her money and expected sex in exchange. But after attacking her in February, he felt as though he had lost her. Joel approached Lauren when she got to the hospital to visit Roy Cropper, David Nielsen, but Lauren stopped Joel from punching him by telling him she was pregnant. Actress Kate Fitton told us at the time, obviously, when you go through any kind of trauma, us as human beings like to put it into the back of our minds and hope it goes away and distract ourselves, but it's always there, it's never going to go away. With Lauren, she thinks she can kind of move on and put it behind her, but you can't rush that process. Similar like grief, you have to experience it as it arises and not try to speed through it. Since leaving Weatherfield, she has been escaping from hostel to hostel, sleeping on the streets, being kicked out of several hostels due to her inability to pay the rent. She must now obviously consider further safety measures. Joel's only goal since then has been to get rid of Lauren and the child. The original idea was to send Lauren to Ireland after she saved up enough money but by the end of this week, Lauren starts having stomach aches, passes out, and starts to worry that she may lose her kid. Next, we see Lauren in a hospital, scared while her son, born early, is kept in an incubator. The entrance of DS Lisa Swain, Vicky Myers, who is prepared to question Lauren, interrupts her day. Will the child of Lauren and Joel survive, though, is the crucial question. What will Joel do now that Lauren is staying in Weatherfield indefinitely to keep his secret safe? Legend of Coronation Street Bill Roche has acknowledged that he can see why fans are abandoning the ITV soap opera, which is available in Ireland on Virgin Media. Some of the show's regular viewers have criticized Britain's longest-running TV soap opera for straying from its character-driven moments in favor of dramatic storylines. Some have commented that it's not as funny as it used to be. Additionally, Bill, 91, who has portrayed Ken Barlow since the show's debut in 1960, expressed empathy for the annoyances associated with entrenched opinions. He launched a passionate defense of ITV executives in a video message to a fan who had stopped watching Corey. After wishing them a good birthday, Bill spoke on Cameo and mentioned that she had stopped watching the soap opera. He then replied, well, that's up to you, isn't it? An established show such as Coronation Street goes through different stages. Coronation Street is known for its humor, but there are moments when there is a lot of serious material and other things of that nature. There will be times, sometimes lengthy ones, when the show leans more toward drama, but that will shift as well. That kind of thing happens, and I know a lot of people give up on Coronation Street. The difficulty the producers have is you have older generation that is getting older, there is a younger generation that is coming in, and you have to keep appealing to the younger generation, and that isn't easy, he said, referring to the balancing act carried out by executives. The elder generation says, I don't like the street. When you do that, you realize that it's not what it was. Bill continued, saying that if the show hadn't changed throughout the years, it would have been canceled long ago. Bill is currently fighting to pay a 500,000 pounds tax bill. He continued, saying that it would have become a dinosaur and passed away by now if it had stayed the same. It must be a natural process, a live thing that attracts young people. It's similar to cake in that it appeals to all age groups, eldest, middle-aged, and youthful. Such stages will occur, 
and occasionally it will veer slightly to accommodate the influx of youth, which the elderly find objectionable. They do a great job of navigating the fine ship Coronation Street. Long may that continue. Sometimes it lurches to bringing in all the oldies and the younger ones may not enjoy that. But it is a tough issue overall, though the audience keeps quite constant and we do pretty well. Maureen Lippmann, a star of Coronation Street, stated in February that the soap opera should abandon its attempt at shock value and return to its roots in everyday Northern life in order to regain its audience. The 77-year-old actress began appearing in the ITV soap opera in 2018 as Tyrone Dobbs' grandmother, Evelyn Plummer, and the Bad Lakes character quickly gained popularity among viewers. People are now getting murdered in knicker factories in Cory. The speaker stated, There is domestic abuse here. Your neighborhood soap opera will feature anything that checks off the boxes related to 21st century societal issues. In contrast, you could have gotten Martha, Minnie, and Ina into the cozy and started a Ben-Hur discussion back then. Though it's never been political, I enjoy it when the ladies get seated and comment. Oh, Donald Trump, isn't his hair shocking? Your parents have these amazing ways of saying things. Like when my mother used to remark, oh, doesn't a black skirt cover a multitude of sins? People say things like that, and we accept them as fact. Fans of Coronation Street believe Kit Green is going to kill Paul Foreman, his half-brother, in a heartbreaking turn of events. Recently, an emotional episode of the ITV soap opera featuring Paul taking one final tour of Weederfield while aware that he would soon be confined to his house aired. After receiving a diagnosis of motor neurone disease last year, Paul, played by Peter Ash, has decided to gracefully exit the show before the disease takes its full toll. Paul is on borrowed time. Billy, Paul's other half, convinced Paul to allow them to treasure more moments together in heartfelt situations. However, during Monday's broadcast, Todd Grimshaw expressed his concerns regarding Paul's desire to end things. Billy suggested that in order to help them prepare themselves a bit, they should tell their loved ones. Paul sadly replied, too painful. He told Billy that he was going to pass away with dignity. But as his sister Gemma, Dolly Rose Campbell, and niece Carries visited, he realized he wasn't quite ready to let go, according to the Express. Paul even made a joke with Billy, saying, I'm turning 34 this year. I will remain here. Be careful not to, Billy exclaimed, feeling relieved that Paul had postponed his intentions to take his own life. The episode ended with a tender hug. Nonetheless, a few Corey viewers are positive that Kit would exact revenge on Paul rather than Billy helping him in his last moments. Recently, Jacob Roberts' character, the corrupt copper, made an appearance in Weederfield as the long-lost son of Jane Hasselgrove's character, Bernie Winter, who she had given up three decades before. A viewer expressed their thoughts on Twitter, saying, I continue to believe that Kit killed Paul because he is out to destroy Bernie's life, and he has already started by turning the twins against her and assisting Gemma. I thought that he might pass away during the two-hander. Oh, an additional person added, or Kit kills Paul himself and frames Bernie or Billy. As Paul's NDD worsens, a third fan conjectured, I have a dreadful feeling that Paul may decide to terminate his life next week after a special day with Billy. But when it comes to Billy helping Kit with the suicide, I don't trust him. Perhaps Kit is trying to set Bernie up? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.